Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and this is Red Dead Redemption. And we're playing the Undead Nightmare. So, hold on, hold on. Phosphorus coating is a treatment that modifies all ammo to set Undead ablaze with a blue fire. Hold on. So how do we... Where's the journal? Brief? Okay, so... Undead ablaze with a blue fire. So that's it. Open your satchel with correct herbs on hand to coat your bullets. So satchel. I don't understand. Kit. Uh, uh, phosphorus coating. Info. Creates and applies a phosphorus coating to all bullets for a short time. It uses one sage of any variety and one violet snowdrop. Flowers can be found. Oh, okay, okay. So, so he took all of my stuff. And now I only have one set of undead burning fire bullets. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so last time we were together, we did some stuff with Mr. Nigel West Dickens. We looked for some flowers, and we we actually got the flowers, and we returned to him. And because of that, we now have the option to set some flowers ablaze or something, and magically our bullets light up and dead. So, we need to see what this mission is here. Wanted. <laughs> In a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find the life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. Hmm. Interesting. So it's like a bounty, except a missing person. I don't really want to do that. I want to... Where am I going? I'm making my way to Riley's Charge. So, we're going to do that. We need to go to Riley's Charge this time, and we need to do something so that we can reunite with Mr. Nigel West Dickens once again, and have some... Ammunition or something. I hear zombies. Our horse is right there. Bring it on. <laughs> Alright. Where's our horse? There's our horse. So, we will head down here, run to our horse, and then set a map point for Riley's charge. Because we are looking for something to cure what ails us. And based on the way Mr. West Dickens was speaking, it is some wonderful weapon or ammunition or something. Maybe it's permanent flaming bullets of death. That'd be very helpful. A mythical creature has appeared. Ooh, 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 what is that thing? What is that? Oh my, I want to catch that thing. Okay. All right, let's let's get off and ride the no, not our horse. Go, John. Oh, John, you lost it. Okay. We need to climb on the flaming horse. I want this flaming horse. I feel like this is going to be ridiculous for undead. This is some crazy nonsense. Okay. Come on, baby. So, this horse looks like our friend there that we captured the other horse uh with the flaming not flaming noxious cloud 
was it Pestilence? The, one of the four horses of the apocalypse. So this one must be death? Right? Or war? Because I think the four horsemen of the apocalypse, if we want to go with uh, you know, technical whatever... Yeah, four horses of apocalypse rank number two. So, you have broken horse of the apocalypse war. Okay, so what does what does this horse do? Is it just just a horse? War can set enemies on fire. I like the sound of that. Good. So we're gonna keep war if we can. Um, so the other horse we got was pestilence, and I'm not sure what it did, but it, you know. It went away. I don't know where it went. Uh, or why. But, you know, the four horsemen of the apocalypse are pestilence, war, famine, and I think just plain death or something. So, I assume we got a couple more that we have to find. We're at Riley's Charge. Also, these horses are extremely fast and have very, very good stamina. Or maybe it is unlimited stamina. I'm not entirely sure. Let's test this out. How does this work? Just bump into them or what? W. Okay, so we gotta. Ooh! So, mopping up our zombie friends is gonna be so much easier now because we just kind of bump into them and they're on fire and they roll around on the ground. Are we being chased by anyone right now? No. So let's let's see if we can do anything here. Nope. Okay. Come on, John. Oh dear. Okay. Come on, horse. Go. Set zombies on fire. Go. On fire with you. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. I need. Do I need to clear these guys out, or do I just just need to? go open a chest or something? Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Run, John! Run! The zombies are going to beat you! <laughs> I don't understand how this horse works. I, I think you, like, just knock them over, but I'm not entirely sure. So, let's take care of you. You're knocked over. You're on fire knock you over again just for good measure and then can I search what are we searching oh dear that zombie what have I found return the old parts to Nigel is that that it that's all I gotta do where's Nigel West Dickens right here a cure for most of what ails you I hope I hope it's actually something good this time, and not just, like, more of his snake oil stuff. I feel like I didn't set a marker on the map. Okay, marker set now. So let's go, John. Put your gun away, you don't need that right now. You need to go... go this way. So it looks like we really might have unlimited stamina with this horse, which would be completely amazing. I think we just killed the poor woman. So, yeah. We got the zombie too, though. I'm pretty sure we set him on fire, at least. Mercer Station, doing good. Ooh, ooh, what is this place? Is this a place? Is it a thing? I don't think it is. It's like a little ranch, but it's not like a marked location. So I'm just gonna leave our friend Critchatilly's ranch alone. Go. Yo, let's go, horsey. <laughs> Those zombies make some pretty scary noises there. What's this? It's a goat! Do I set the goat on fire? Or am I just kind of pushing it along? I don't think the goats are dead. I think the goats are alive. 
Because goats can survive a zombie apocalypse, right? So what if all the uh, predators in the area are mutated and zombified and angry and want to kill us? The goats are fine. So now we're in Gaptooth Ridge. We're going to head over here around the side. See right here? No. No, he's Go. not. No, he is. He is right here. Oh, Nigel. Whoa there. West Dickens. Mr. West Dickens. Uh, Nigel. Where are you, old man? You better not have gotten killed. Under here. here. <laughs> what are you doing under Get out there? Here. Are you alone? No. I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, it's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. Well, maybe What's if you didn't happened? con them. Now, don't be like that. I haven't done anything. Or stolen anything. Or even lied. That much. What hmm. then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. They want to hang me. Me. An honest salesman. Can you believe that? Yep. Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there, not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh, did you uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? I sure. got them. Ah, ha, ha. Excellent. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you throwing things at? A tuba? Ooh. Ah, there. I see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. <laughs> Would I lie to you, John? <laughs> uh, to others, I admit the... Uh, Occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission, but you never, dear boy. Now, uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, ah. yeah. now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, well if you're interested, I should be at. Solomon's Folly, in a few days, trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs> hmm. Oh boy, lots of big bad undead roam in these worlds now. Okay, we got blunderbuss ammunition and a blunderbuss. Blah, blah. In the meantime, you should visit other survivors and see Come if you on. can lend them aid. Okay? Blunderbuss is an explosive weapon that can take a multiple of one and use undead body parts as ammunition. Okay, that's sort of weird. So... Do we have undead body parts? Cougar teeth. Ooh, we have desert sage and violet snowdrops. So we got some undead animal parts. 
Um, build undead bait. Okay. How do we build undead bait? One fever few, one prairie poppy. Okay. Wonderful. Consumables. Survivalists map. What? What? Are, what's this? Shows all nearby herbs on the map for 20 minutes. Oh, that might be uh, interesting if I ever wish to do some stuff with herbs, but I don't really think I want to. So we are going to head, I guess. Wait a second. It's going to take him a few days to get to Solomon's Folly here. That seems sort of unrealistic to me, but whatever. Uh, we will head to this town, and we will go liberate it from the hordes of the undead massing everywhere. And hopefully by that time, Mr. West Dickens will find whatever he needs, and he'll be waiting for us. Because I feel like between him and Seth both claiming that Mexico's a nice place, we should probably, uh, you know kind of go join them or something in Mexico. I feel like that's the obvious choice of where to go. Maybe you can see the little bits of para parallels between the uh, other game and this game. Hey zombies. Goodbye. Should probably do my, uh, you know, citizenly duty and set the undead that I meet on fire. When possible. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Uh, we are almost in town. You must save the town before starting or continuing a survivor mission here. Okay. So we will go save the town. Hey, guys. Talk to the survivors. I don't really want to talk to the survivors. They're all up top somewhere. Yeah, no. There we go. Ha ha ha! This horse is amazing. It just sets everything on fire when we touch it. I need some zombies. Come here, zombies. I need a horde of you so I can just run into you and set you on fire. Gotcha. Okay. Boom. I don't think I got him. But I definitely got these guys. Yeah! Okay. Oop, there's one. <laughs> ah, setting things on fire is amazing. Gotcha. This is so much better than fighting them with a torch. Just, you know, this is like Grand Theft Auto when you get one of those really fast cars and... <laughs> You know, just just running everyone over. I feel like it is kind of cheap, though. Not that I'm complaining about cheap. You know, the zombies and I'm li very limited ammunition. That's sort of cheap too. I don't I don't really mind cheap here. Uh oh, I just don't want to get caught by the zombies because I'm running into things. Alright, here's one, but I can't quite get him. Let's get this guy. Gotcha. There's another one over here. Gotcha. And I'll see... Yes, I'll get you. Uh, I think I missed that one. Hey, guys. You're here to help out with the zombie problem? That's mighty kind of you. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Alright. Uh, we need to run. Go, horsey. Go. Okay, we escaped the clutches of the undead horde. Boom. There's so many of them right over here. I could probably be, like, getting my gun working, too, you know? That, that would probably help out a little more. But I'm fine with just wandering around setting things on fire. I think I just saw that one woman right there spawn in. <laughs> Try not to get caught on these boxes again. Just kill the remaining undead. Can do. 
This is so much easier. I really hope that this horse sticks around because, you know, it's so much better than the alternative. And this guy right here, whoever's up in top of that uh, tower can shoot. Which is always a good thing when you're hunting the undead. Okay, so we should be good. We got our horse. I'm just gonna let that burning zombie just burn out. And we have saved the peoples. Uh, hold on, guy. I need to go steal some ammunition here, because it's survival, right? And, you know, I'm, I'm welcome to it. Let's go, let's go with that. I'm welcome to it. It's my ammunition, and I need it now. <laughs> is this... that's not my ammunition. This is my ammunition. Okay. I don't think we got anything out of that chest. Kind of ridiculous. I hope I'm not full up on ammo. I hope that's not what's going on. Uh, okay, let's save our game real quick. Please? Thank you so much. Okay. Uh... Where did our flaming horse of doom go? There you are! Okay. Okay. What do we need? We need you. Who are you? Oh, I... No, no, no! Save me, save me! Come in, the camera, come closer! You okay, mister? Oh! Oh! Mr. Marston, well, I might have guessed you wouldn't have got the lurgy yet. Not yet. I'm trying to help my family. Yes, quite the hobby of yours, that. Sure. <laughs> Listen, any idea what the hell's going on here? No, but it's brilliant. Man turned against man. Kind-hearted neighbors turned into savage, flesh-eating monsters. <laughs> Just hit. It'll make a fantastic movie. Who would enjoy that? What? What kind of sick person would like that? Huh. <laughs> kind sir. The lowest common denominator. My people. You're gone, friend. On the contrary, sir. You misunderstand me. Come now, you're a smart fellow. Allow me to illuminate. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Marston. What I need is one of those nasty buggers that spits poisonous snot on you. If in your travels you can find a spare one, we can make moving picture history. You're worse than they are. Each to their own, Mr. Marston. But if you find the time... What? Are you gonna... you gonna give me something? Hmm. Capture a wretcher from Gap Tooth Ridge and bring it back to Makina. How to show man the beast. Okay. Come back. Okay. So, we need to capture a wretcher from Gaptooth Ridge. So, I guess we're gonna head over this way. We'll get our lasso out, and we'll, we'll get going. I don't know how this is gonna work, but whatever. Oh, it says we want to go this way. So, we will trust the horse GPS. Because, why not? <laughs> Has it ever steered us wrong? Maybe I should rephrase that. Has it ever steered us right? <laughs> oh, boy. So what? What is a retro? Is that the, the green ones that explode when you kill them? Come on. 
I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen one before. Well, if they're the green things, I have seen them. But if they're not the green things, I don't know if I've seen them or not. Because we've got the... We get the big ones. We get the normal ones. And then we've got the green ones. Oh, and then there's the fast ones. There's so many types of zombies. Couldn't just have one. Couldn't just make it easy. Come on. No. They, Rockstar wouldn't do that. Come on. Yeah. So... We need a retcher. Is it going to tell us what a retcher is? But it says they're over in Gaptooth Ridge, so I guess that's what we need. What are you? Oh no. I'm sorry, sir. Your friend is gonna come back alive. Okay. Okay. We'll take the revolver ammo. Sorry, dude. I tried. I was gonna help out, but, you know, you made it so it didn't really matter. I need to be careful, because I don't want to, like, capture one of those special undead and, like, set it on fire by accident. Alright, I need some undead that spits glowing green snot. Are there any of them? Any of you peoples? Yeah. yeah. Looks like there's a fire or something. What's going on? Uh, what is going on in there? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave because the last thing I want to do is get in some trouble and lose my horse. So we'll just go over to Gap Tooth Ridge. Shh, it's okay, guys. I think. Oh, we're at, we're at Gap Tooth Ridge. Let's go. Let's check our journal. Okay. Yeah, it says right at Gap Tooth Ridge, so I would think go. Tumbleweed here would be the uh, best place to look for one of the green things. It's got to be the green things. I don't see any of them. I need to just make some more of these guys spawn in. Set a bunch of them on fire. That's always the way to go. Maybe they'll be, like, in the graveyard. Let's see if I can... Get over to the graveyard here. What about you? You're just a normal zombie. You're not what I'm looking for. Those are not the zombies you're looking for. I wonder what that glowing yellow means. Is that like a safe place? Is there such a thing as a safe place in a zombie infested? Oh. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna burn the coffin again. I don't wanna do that. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. I already burned the coffins there. Come on, I need some zombies that spit some goop. Come on. Maybe I'm not looking for one of the green ones. Like, maybe it really is something completely different. I should probably look it up to find out what it actually is. I 
and where I can find them for real. <laughs> Come on. All right. So let's 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 end the episode here, I guess. And when we return, we will go through and actually find what a retcher is. I will, you know, look it up, and I will make sure I know. And yeah, we'll make sure we get one of them. We'll go back to this movie fanatic guy. We'll make his day, and hopefully we won't let an abomination loose somewhere with a lot of healthy people that it can infect and kill everyone. So, thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Oh, are there any, any, any zombies here that are green? No, no zombies that are green. All right, have yourselves a wonderful night, everyone. Oh, and I'm caught on the horse. A uh, horse caught on tree. Whatever. <laughs>